I need to I need to finish um, fitting the um, the coolant hoses to the automatic transmission and um, these are the ones I uh, really filthy mess down here really really hard horribly greasy they've clearly been leaking and they're they're very very hard they're supposed to be slightly flexible um, the new pipe is extremely flexible um, I just need to um, I just need to trim a couple of these to length um, it's easy enough um, just, you know, just a cheap knife really um, let's have a look need to be exact within 10 millimeters or so is fine let's have a look about there there we go there's one that's it there we go just pop the camera over there need two hands for a second there we go that's one that'd be absolutely fine and uh, do the other one the same. Yeah, they were quite awkward to get off. They were bloody greasy, and the um, the condition of the um, let me see if I can zoom in on it slightly. The condition of the uh, the heads. Um, I don't know if we're able to zoom in on that. There we go. Um, it, was, it was all corroded and slightly rounded off. I don't think that was even the most difficult. That one. Um, I think. Yeah, this one, this one was, this one was even worse. Um, they were just all horribly corroded, and yeah, not a, not an easy job lying on your back in the street. But it had to be done, and they're off. So um, I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm just going to cut it, cut these to, to to length, and then I'll, um, I really do need to actually. Let me, let me just do that now whilst um, I can cut the other one in a minute. Get some of this water out of the way. Yeah, just turn that over. No particularly fancy line in that. It's far from ideal working in the rain, but never mind. The job has to be done. Just zoom out. I need to just make sure. Oh, tissue. I've got some in my pocket. There we go. I just need to make sure that these are clean. Let's have a look. There. There's a lot of oil slopping about. There's, I don't think, in all probability, they were they were not leaking. In fact, I know they were leaking. There was oil everywhere. Most of the pipes on this car were rotten. There's a couple more under there. I just wipe them the best I can with tissue. Then I'll just get a little bit of steel wool on them as well. Um, there's one, two, three. There'll be a fourth one over here. There it is. Uh, there we go. Just, uh, it's not, it's not seen the light of day in 36 years, this little bit of pipe here. It's actually still got the original factory paint on it underneath where the hose was. Obviously it's all been knocked off with salt and grit and whatever's hit it over the years. In fact, I'm not going to rub that with the first steel wool. It's very, very smooth. Uh, let me just feel this one. Well, that one's extremely smooth. No, if I go and rub it with steel wool, I'll only make it rough. Let me feel this one. Uh, there's two down here. Let's just feel them. So Somebody pipping, probably going to run my feet over. Let me just pull my legs in. Yeah, they're a bit rough. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of steel wool if I can find it. Lying on my back. Where is it? I'm lying on it. Here we go. Yeah, let's just um, take a little bit of steel wool. Rub this. There we go. Just any, any grit, any corrosion, any oxidation, just rub it off. We don't want that inside the joint. I uh, can't really see this one, but I can feel it. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. There we go. Where's my paper? I'm lying on it. Just take my paper and it's just kitchen paper. This. It's uh, take off any grease, any any little bits of grit. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, no, yeah, this shouldn't be too difficult a job. Once I've actually replaced all these hoses, I'm, I'm sure nothing's leaking. I'll be able to chemically clean the underneath of this car because it's completely filthy. I suspect it's never been cleaned in 36 years. It, it's, um, it's almost definitely completely original. And as we know, the hoses have been leaking and seeping oil everywhere. And it's absolutely everywhere. I think this is all transmission oil that's been dropped out of that hose I changed last night under here. So, you know, soon enough I'll, I'll chemically clean the underneath here and eventually I'll get round to sort of painting it all up, but they're not exactly emergency jobs. 
and uh, yeah that's it let me just uh, let's have a look yeah so um, I'm just going to uh, I will need two hands for fitting these pipes so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to film this bit but um, we've got brand new brand new hose clamps for each side it's just a case of sliding them on um, but I will need two hands so I won't be filming that last little bit but um, let me just uh, replicate this grotty pipe I'll fit the two and um, come back with the camera in a bit. <laughs> 